<coughs> Hello there everyone, my name is Rose Monkey and today we don't have gloves because we have hoodie! Yay! So this is a update vlog for the 12 goals for 12 months. Um, but before I talk about that, I want to talk about last night because last night was amazing. Okay, so one of my favourite, favourite bands of all time is Yellow Card. And they are currently doing their farewell tour. Uh, which is where the hoodie comes in. I don't know if you can see, but yellow card. So their farewell tour, and they did a gig in Manchester last night, which I went to. So I'm going to talk through the entire gig, but very, very quickly. Um, and then we'll get on to the 12 vlog thing. So first of all, I got there pretty much before the doors opened. I was queuing in the front. Because I have O2, I got O2 priority queuing, so I got to go right to the front. I got to go in just as the doors were opening. I bought the hoodie, which was is amazing. It's so comfy and warm. And it's also a little bit small, and I will come back to that later on why I've got one that's a little bit small. So the first band that played were Kenneth and they were so entertaining. Um, the last gig, the last night that the whole group had done was Glasgow and while they were up in Glasgow the drummer had uh, broken her toe but she still drummed through the entire set despite the fact that she had a broken toe. I think Yellow Card later said that she had like a thing that she did with her hand to do the kick drum. I'm not too sure about that but oh, I was so impressed. Um, she, she went through the whole set and you wouldn't have been able to tell she had a broken toe unless you'd seen her hobble on stage, seriously. And the lead singer was nuts. Uh, at one point he came down off the stage to the front and um, handed his microphone to the audience and then sung into that while playing his guitar. Then he leapt into the audience with his guitar, went into the middle of the audience and was playing with this little circle of people around him, just in the middle of the audience. Then he came back over the barrier and then crowd surfed to the back of the crowd. It was brilliant. So they were really, really good and I'm going to check them out in my spare time. Um, and the next band that came on was a band from Sweden called Normandy. Normandy were really good. I have to admit, I really, really enjoyed. The, the lead singer was so bouncy and danced a lot and he had such impressive vocals. I was really, really impressed with them. So that's another band I want to check out in my spare time. They didn't have any special antics that they did quite like uh, Kenneth did, but they were really, really good. I was very impressed. And then Yellow Card came on. Oh, I just, my, I, I died. It was so good. I've never been to a gig like it. It was wonderful. The energy in that room was fantastic. It was a sold out gig. And I just, it was just, it was just brilliant. I just, I can't even, it was just so, so good. Just before the end of the gig, lead singer Ryan had a little moment where he talked about support and he said things about if, um, all of us who had um, burnt a CD for another person or dragged a friend to a gig, you know, thank you for that support, thank you for spreading that support, all that kind of thing. And it was so humble and so genuine, the way that he spoke to us. It was just wonderful. And at one point, the crowd just burst into applause and screaming for like three solid minutes. And the band were just like, what do we do? Just let them go, you know, just let them do what they're doing. Um, it was just, it was fantastic. And I stayed right until the end. It was an amazing night. Took um, a train, a bus and a taxi for me to get home. But I, I wouldn't have changed it. I got home at like one in the morning. But it was, it was so good. So, so good. Okay, so enough about that. On to the 12 goals. So it's been four months now since the goals were started. And I've managed to completely tick off one goal which is getting a job you guys already know that i want to go through one or two of the other goals and how i've slightly modified those or how i'm thinking of modifying those to um give a set deadline and make them achievable first goal was get set up and um i think for that i've kind of got a goal in mind now a set goal in mind of things that i actively want to do between now and august to make that goal completely achievable so i want to buy a chair so I'm not just sitting on my sofa much as I love my sofa I need to get properly sorted I want to buy a chair I want to buy a new microphone and I want to move my desk around because right now my desk is behind the screen you can't see it um, but I want to move that around so I'm properly utilizing the desk I've got the chair under the desk and it's all like a proper setup I want to get that sorted out and um, those are the two things I want to purchase is a computer chair, a proper one, because I do have a computer chair, but it's not a proper one. It's not a great one. It's not one that I could sit on for more than 10 minutes and a proper microphone. And I've already picked out what microphone I want and I know how much money I have to raise for that. I don't know how much I need for the chair yet, but 
I know kind of where I'm going with that. And those two things aren't going to be sorted for another few months because I still need to sort out my finances with the job. But they are goal, po goal posts that I now have very firmly stuck in my head. The next update is the books. Now, the 50 books, I'm still confident I can reach that. I know four months is gone and that only leaves six, eight months. I can't count. Eight months to get that goal achieved. But there's so much time that I could be reading and I haven't. So I know that I'm going to be able to get that done. The next book I would really like to read is the fifth book in the Maze Runner series, which is called The Fever Code. Now, that's the one book in that series I could not get hold of. I really, really couldn't get hold of that at the time. And I still can't. Um, I haven't got the money available to buy it. I haven't been able to get it on my Kindle just yet. I have all the others on my Kindle. Um, but I haven't quite got that one yet. So that is the next book that I would like to read and I want to seriously pursue reading that. But since I can't get that right now, I'm probably going to go to some of my other books that I wanted to read. But I'm probably going to start reading a book in the next few days. And if you guys want to keep updated on what I'm reading and when I'm reading, keep looking at the Tumblr link. I will leave it below. And that Tumblr page tells you what I've read already and what I'm hoping to read and that sort of thing. So that's a good way to keep updated on my reading list. Okay, so there's three more that I want to very, very briefly mention, but this is going to be very quick. I already mentioned the hoodie and the fact that it's a little bit small. This is encouragement for me to work on the weight loss. Obviously, if there's something that you want to slim into, that's always some sort of real goalpost encouragement to work with. Um, at some point, and I really don't like the idea of doing this, but at some point I'm going to take a heaviest picture so that we know where I started and then I'll take another one further down the line, maybe a few to show the progression when I'm getting smaller. But at the moment, I've really not gone anywhere with that. So it's something that I want to work on. I have kind of mentioned on Twitter that I've been eating more vegan stuff. I've been eating more vegetarian stuff. I've been trying to eat more healthily. I've been expanding my um, sort of pool of food that I eat in that sense. But it's still not really helping. I need to work harder. But because of trying to get sorted out with a new job and everything, I've not really been able to do that yet. But it is one of the next things I want to work on. There's also the be organised um, goal. And I kind of said in one of my earlier videos on this that I checked that off. I want to rescind that check. I don't want that to be checked off right now. I have a more clear goal in mind for what be organised means. Um, I haven't been bullet journaling recently because with working it's been a bit too hectic so I kind of stopped doing that and technically that's my organisation gone. That was the thing that I was like, I'm organised, I'm bullet journaling, I'm writing everything down, it makes sense, it's all done. No, no, not anymore. That's not the thing. I have a lot of things in mind. I want to get everything organised in here. I have... I have repairs I need to do in the flat that I haven't got done for a few months because I've had that much going on. Uh, at the moment, my kitchen light still doesn't work, which makes cooking in the kitchen practically impossible past a certain time in the evening. I want to sort that out. And things like that are what I want to count as being organised. I'm also struggling with money in the sense of sorting benefits out because I'm not working full time. I'm supposed to be getting some help with my housing benefit. And I've just been on the phone to them all morning trying to sort that out. And that's not going anywhere. Um, I need to get that all sorted. I need my housing sorted, my money sorted, my flat sorted, my repairs done. And then I will class myself as being organised. But until then, that's that's not happening. That's not checked off at all. Finally, I got an email today from somebody that I am in contact with about the doing something scary goal. Um, that is moving forward. I'm very happy to say that is moving forward. I can't give you any more information than that at this time, but there's definite moves there. There's definite moves happening. All right, so that's everything I have to talk about today. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little update. If you did, give that like button some love. Let me know in the comments below if you love Yellow Card yourselves. Let me know what your favourite band is and who you would just go absolutely ballistic if you got to go and see them. Or who you'd be heartbroken if they're breaking up like Yellow Card are. You know, just let me know in the comments below. And I'll be back with more update, blo update vlogs. I cannot talk today. I can barely, my throat is really sore <laughs> because of all the shouting and screaming that I did last night. But yes, yeah, so let me know in the comments below anything you guys want to tell me about. And I'll be back with more updates very, very soon. Bye! My name is Rose Monkey and welcome to eight characters from Harry Potter that weren't in the films, but I think they should have been. For those of you who haven't seen the films or read the books and want to get round to that, spoiler alert. Although if you haven't, where have you been?